This past Wednesday, the FAA proposed a fine of more than $1.25 million for Boeing, alleging that senior managers exerted undue pressure and interfered with the work of representatives of the FAA working at Boeing to perform safety inspections. Oh boy, here we go again. That's next on Maximus. In Wednesday's letter to Boeing, the FAA said Boeing managers, including four senior managers and the vice president of 787 operations, pressured workers to perform inspections on an aircraft that wasn't eligible for inspection because of various issues. The FAA letter also said the managers were harassing and pressuring people to make them perform inspections more quickly. They also threatened to replace the workers and retaliated against the unit manager for filing what's called an undue pressure report by declining to interview the highly qualified manager for a promotional position. According to Dominic Gates of the Seattle Times, the managers should have never been directly involved in the process of signing off on quality and safety, which is the job of a specific team of Boeing employees who are assigned to represent the FAA and to perform independent inspections of aircraft production on behalf of the Federal Aviation Administration. The long-established practice of delegating some FAA tasks to Boeing and other manufacturers has come under criticism after two Boeing 737 MAX crashes raised the alarm about the program. The FAA, in two civil penalty notices, alleged Boeing failed to ensure administrators were in a position to effectively represent the FAA's interest and that some Boeing managers exerted undue pressure or interfered with people performing FAA tasks. According to the FAA's letter about the managers at the North Charleston, South Carolina plant, they pressed an inspector to perform a compliance inspection of an aircraft which was not ready for inspection. They harassed inspectors and managers, demanding that they perform inspections more quickly and to report to aircraft ready for inspection faster. They berated the performance of inspectors and threatened to have them replaced by other employees. They waited outside aircraft that were being inspected to monitor how quickly oversight inspectors responded to requests and how long their inspections took. And after a highly qualified manager filed an undue pressure report, they retaliated by declining to interview that manager for a promotion. The FAA's authorization of a team of engineers and managers within Boeing to inspect aircraft and issue airworthiness certificates on its behalf is a standard aerospace industry arrangement. The FAA allegations describe a risk to the integrity of the inspectors and managers in the oversight program known as Organization Destination Authorization, or ODA. In response to the FAA's allegations, Commercial Airplane CEO Stan Deal and Boeing Chief Engineer Greg Heislop sent a joint message Wednesday to Boeing engineering managers. In the message, a copy of which was obtained by the Seattle Times, they wrote that Boeing's status as an ODA holder is a privilege, not a right, and we have an obligation to work to earn that privilege every day. When exercising delegated authority, Boeing-badged ODA representatives are the FAA and must be treated with the same respect and deference that is owed to our regulator. We know the vast majority of our team appreciates this deal and high slop added, but just one mistake or one Boeing employee engaging our ODA representatives in a way that is inconsistent with our values can undo years of hard-earned trust with the FAA. Boeing said the proposed fines are a clear and strong reminder of our obligations under the Organization Designation Authorization Program. Undue pressure of any type will not be tolerated, the company said. Boeing employees tasked with handling certification work on behalf of the FAA or so-called ODA unit members at Boeing's South Carolina factory were subject to undue pressure or interference from at least four Boeing managers between September 2018 and May 2019. The FAA also said Boeing, from roughly November 2017 through July 2019, implemented an organizational structure that did not conform to ODA procedures with managers in unapproved roles. The letter says the FAA will take no further action for 30 days to allow Boeing to pay the fines or furnish additional information. Boeing said in both instances, allegations were appropriately reported, investigated, and disclosed to the FAA, and added it took corrective action in response.
A 2016 Boeing survey released by a congressional panel found that nearly 40% of 523 employees handling safety certification work perceived potential undue pressures from managers such as bullying or coercion. Evidence of undue pressure was also pinpointed by a group of international regulators reviewing the 737 MAX certification. In 2015, Boeing paid $12 million to settle more than a dozen FAA investigations that revealed a systemic pattern of falsified paperwork and ignoring procedures that resulted in quality assurance issues on production lines in both Washington State and South Carolina. And you may recall that is in addition to the improper wiring issues and the foreign object debris left in the engines and aircraft interiors on the 737 MAX as well as the 767 military tankers. Okay, I need to just add this disclaimer before I get the usual Maximus is a Boeing hater comments. This is a news story, not my opinion. And since aviation news is a big part of what I do here on the channel, you know what they say, don't hate the player, hate the game. Or is it hate the game and not the player? I don't know. Just don't hate Maximus. However, that being said, I always want to hear from you, good or bad. So please head down to the comments section and let me know what you think. While you're down there, please be sure to subscribe, like, share, and ring the bell. And as always, remember, leave the rubber on the runway and your troubles on the ground. And I will see you next time in the air. Yeah, this is Maximus.